Hi, uh, welcome to another installment of Oko DBA Tutor. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to install the, um, the fourth piece, the fourth uh, component uh, component uh, that you need for uh, to use uh, Oko uh, to configure Oko at the United Manager. Uh, so basically, if I can find my directions. So this is what we'll be installing today. So I will go to Oko website. Basically, again, I'm already at the download on the download page, and then what I'm, going to, I'm going to come to the identity management. Uh, I'm going to click on identity management. And basically, on this page. Um, you have the option of uh, downloading uh, the version that you that you uh, have that you want. So basically, what I'll do is I'm going to download uh, 11G 11G R2, and I actually already have it in my. already have it down here so what I'll do is um, should be so I downloaded it into my again I just I just selected this location from as my download and with OIM, I'm trying to see if it's two files or just one file. So it's uh, it's two files. So it's uh, installation uh, this file one and this file two. So let me actually just go to uh, download page. Again, so basically, you can download. Uh, you have to download these two, one and two. So, and it, after you download it, uh, just extract it to um, your des your desired file location. So, I have it on my D drive. So it's D app, and this is where I have my identity management uh, software. So what I'll do is I will copy this. I will copy my path. Copy this path. I need to get to my my command prompt. I'm gonna see into this. Are you kidding me? Uh, anyways, let me copy this. It's not taking it. Okay, I'm just gonna open up, open up a new pump, command prompt. Uh, CD. Okay. Uh, switch my D drive, and then I'm going to run the same command that I ran uh, for my SOA software. It's going to be. I need to find that uh, my file with the direction. So it's going to be. It's, it's going to be set up. Set up JLE lock and then also pointing to my JDK. So what I'll do is again before I even do that, I need to come to my I need to come to this folder and I need to go to my D drive, go to where I have my 
when I have my um, when I have this user, uh, this folder, I mean, uh, IDM one. So this is the folder that's gonna be installed after 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 I go through the installing installation folder um, at any access manager. So what I'll do is I'm gonna delete this folder. So there is no contention uh, in terms of in terms of uh, again which one which one is my is my ID my IDM software. Okay, so if you're not a plugin, should be this one. Obviously, try again. So if you're not a plugin, what else is this? There you go. Try again. software do I have that's open? Obviously oh, I should have done this. I'm gonna cancel this and then recreate it. So cancel it. Try it again. That should go through. So what I'll, what I'll do now is I'm going to start another command prompt. And I'm going to CD. Again, so now the photos, the, the uh, IDM photo should be gone. So no matter what, IDM is gone. So what I'll do now is I need to get to my, I need to get to this, my uh, identity management again. This one, copy this, paste it, switch to D drive, uh, set up, slash JRE log and location is going to be my uh, JDK so location is uh, JDK JRE location uh, means J JDK slash JRE that's a job that's the that's uh, that's basically a bad that you have to you have to put uh, as a value for this parameter. <coughs> so what I'll do is I will go to my first middleware home, uh, copy this, and then paste it right here, and start my uh, identity access management software.
which you know what if you're not confused with who I am I should actually call this um, create domain domain for OIM create domain slash web logic so for OIM So this is a, this is what I was um, I was going to get into this um, before. So I was having I think there, there might be a I'm not sure, but personally I was experiencing an issue a, a problem with um, installing my disk management. Basically, what was happening is that I had in this too when uh, in this. In this file, basically, this is this is it's, it gets stuck. The um, OIM gets stuck um, at this location. It's actually looking for a file group, a file group to jar um, uh, executor file. So basically, what I ended up doing is uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to encounter um, it, you know, doing installation, but most likely I will. Uh, what I'm gonna do ahead of time is I'm going to just come to my D this tree uh, which one was it I'm gonna copy this ahead of before copy this okay and then so basically all I am uh, then yes the manager is open installation uh, with is open click on next I need to go back to my bit two Okay. All right. Okay. Here you can skip the software update and click on next. And Okay, same thing as I did before. Uncheck those. Click on continue. And here you have to select your middleware home. So I will I'm working on the D, the Oracle middleware, so and let me sure I have The Oracle middleware, so this is what's going to be. It's going to be created. So here, click on next. And then same thing. You can save a response file to review your uh, different values uh, that you have uh, for the uh, parameters. Uh, but uh, when you're done, just click on install. Actually, I think this is going to take probably it's probably probably going to take too long. What I'll do is I'm going to pause here and I'm going to pick it back up when the um 
when my installation is complete uh, just uh, again I'll just put it on pause uh, hi uh, welcome back just make sure yes welcome back uh, so basically uh, the installation is uh, is, is uh, almost done uh, it's a 100% um, and basically I should have my um, I should have my uh, IDM Oakland is called IDM one folder all ready to go for my for the next step Okay. Um, you just gotta be really patient with these with these final steps. Okay, I'm gonna pause it again. I'm, I'm gonna pick it uh, back up uh, when the, when the installation is actually com is actually fully complete completed. Okay, so the installation is actually is is definitely complete. Com it's, been, it's definitely done now. Uh, so yeah, you just have all these uh, confirmation uh, messages, and then when you're done, uh, click on next. Again, you have the option of saving your um, your installation file, uh, the the configuration for the, uh, your um, your uh, parameters. You can save those and review them um, you know, on your file system. But for now, what I'll do is I'm just gonna click on finish, and um, next step, I'm going to start using uh, WebLogic Server software. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.